Hello and welcome to the Forcetronics YouTube channel and blog. In this series, we're going to be looking at how to reduce the power consumption of Arduino. And in this one, part one, part one of three, we're going to be looking at how to use sleep modes. There are six different sleep modes for the Atmega 328P, which is the Arduino Uno and Arduino Pro Mini. And each of them differs in and how much power you save and then the functionality that they offer. So idle here at the top would be least power save most functionality and then power down would be the most power save least functionality. So power down is what you would use if you're not doing anything and you just want your Arduino to go to sleep and use as least power as possible. So this, this table you're looking at is from the data sheet. I'm going to show an example uh, using idle and power down uh, I'm not going to cover all of them, but you can get their, their details from the data sheet. Okay, when you're working in the Arduino IDE, there's two ways to use sleep mode. You could directly manipulate the registers, where you're writing ones and zeros to the registers to change it, to put it in and out of sleep mode, and to select which sleep mode it's in. Uh, or you can use functions, which is the way I'm going to show, using the sleep library. One thing to note is the Arduino boards, especially the Arduino Uno, has regulators, has LEDs, which sort of mask some of the benefits of sleep mode, where if you just had the chip by itself, you would see the benefits of sleep mode. With the Pro Mini, you can see it much better, as, as we'll see. But the Arduino Uno board uses a linear regulator, which is not very power efficient, but it's cheap and non-complex. And this is a, a topic for its, for its own tutorial, but DC to DC converters are the way to go if you're really trying to save power. Okay, so here let's look at some examples that show the benefits of sleep mode. And here we're looking at just typical Arduino power consumption. I have the Pro Mini, and by the way, I'm bypassing the regulator. The Pro Mini allows you to bypass the regulator. The Arduino Uno does not. The Arduino Uno, we're looking at it with the regulator, and the Pro Mini, we're looking at it bypassed. And keep in mind, too, the Arduino Uno has a much bigger chip, so it's going to use more power anyway. I'm just doing some calculations on the Arduino. I'm not I'm not using on any of the pins or anything like that. And we can see that with the Pro Mini, we're using about 12.7 milliwatts, and with the uh, Uno, we're using about 0.4 watts. Now, if I use the sleep mode idle, which is one of the six sleep modes, we can see that the Pro Mini now drops to 4.2 milliwatts, so almost one-third of the power it was drawing before and then the Arduino Uno just drops a little I guess it drops about tens of milliwatts and then finally if we use the power down sleep mode which is the most power efficient or energy efficient we see that the Pro Mini drops to 600 micro microwatts so significantly down like 20 times down from what it was and the Uno drops as well, but, but not as much, once again, because of the linear regulator, because of stuff on the board. But you can see with the Pro Mini the, the benefits of sleep mode. If you're thinking about a battery, we're going to extend the battery life by 10, 15, or 20 fold if you take advantage of sleep mode. So let's look at a sleep mode example. I'm going to use the Arduino Pro Mini, but you could also use the Uno. Here I'm going to show how to wake an Arduino up from sleep mode. So we're going to flash an LED, the Arduino is going to go to sleep, and then we're going to wake it up with an interrupt using a button or a switch. And if you're not familiar with interrupts, please check out my tutorial on interrupts. Uh, I'm going to assume that you know what interrupts are and, and how to use them in this, in this video. Okay, we're looking at the example code for the sleep mode example. Up here are the different sleep modes, and these are the arguments you would use in a function that I'll show later. You can see I call the library. I declare a variable for my LED. I also declare a count variable that we'll, we'll use. Then here in my setup code, I'm going to enable sleep mode. Then I'm going to set the sleep mode, so I'm going to tell it which one I want to use. I'm going to use power down for this example because that's you see the most benefits for power down as far as energy consumption. Once again, I'm, I'm using a argument from up here. Then I'm going to set my pin for my LED. Then if we look at this loop, I'm basically going to execute this loop four times 
flash my LED, increment my count, and then once the count increments to, to three, and this is executed four times, I'm then gonna create my interrupt. I'm then gonna tell the Arduino to go to sleep and then set my count back to zero. Now, and if you're familiar with interrupts, and once again, I have a tutorial on interrupts, I'm gonna call my ISR, my interrupt service routine, and I'm gonna say, you know, an interrupt is based on a high level on pin two, because that's interrupt pin zero. So if we go down to the ISR, I then turn the interrupt off first, and then I disable sleep. So once I disable sleep, sleep is done. And that means that, you know, as my loop goes, this else statement will execute again, but since I disabled sleep, this will just be ignored. So what, what we're gonna see happen is we're gonna see the LEDs blink. We're gonna go to sleep until I interrupt it. Then I'm gonna wake it up and then you'll just see the LEDs blink from then on. Okay, let's look at the example in action. Okay, here I'm gonna blow your mind with a video inside of a video. We can see my Pro Mini set up to do the interrupt. We can see the button, we can see the resistor there. Everything's hooked up. So we're gonna flash the LED four times and then we're gonna let it go to sleep and then we're gonna wake it up. So you can see the LED flashing. It's gonna flash four times and then it's gonna to go to sleep. And so now it's asleep. So it's drawing very little power consumption and I'll show you an example. And here I'm gonna press the button to wake it up. So that triggered the interrupt service routine and now the Arduino is awake. So the code stopped right at the sleep enable and then it stayed there. And then I pressed the interrupt service routine. I, excuse me, then I triggered the interrupt. It went to the interrupt service routine and then it went back to where it left off in the main loop. All right, because I have great tools I can play with at work, I'm able to capture the current in great accuracy. So this is from the example you just saw and basically I'm capturing the current profile on the time domain. So this is time on the x-axis and this is current on the y-axis. And you can basically see these pulses are the LED flashing on and off. So when they're high, that's the LED consuming current. And when they're low, that's when the LED is off. So at M1, I turn on and you can see we're, we're consuming about nine milliamps. And then we flash four times and then the Arduino goes to sleep. And you can see when we go to sleep, we're consuming about 190 microamps. Then the interrupt happens, wakes it up, and it goes right back to flashing the LED. So here really clearly shows the benefits of sleep. And sleep is good if your Arduino is not being used for a while and you're just waiting for sensor data and you can use an interrupt pin to wake it up. Or if you just have moments inside your code where, where you're doing a delay, instead of doing a delay, just go to sleep and you'll save a lot of power. Now this is part one, as I mentioned, and I'm actually in part two gonna show you how to use the power reduction registers. And then in part three, we're gonna look at other ways to wake up our Arduino from sleep mode. If you wanna grab the code that we saw for this example, go to my blog. If you wanna access the data sheet, there's the link. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, you can email me. Thank you for watching.